Today, we're going to discuss how to find angle measures using our trigonometry skills that we've been using the past couple of days. So we're still going to be using sine, cosine, and tangent, but today we're going to be looking at trying to find the measure of an angle. Same rules apply with our Sokotoa. Right, we're still going to use that. We're still using our sine, cosine, tangent. Now we're ha we have what's called the missing angle that we're trying to find. We can still label our sides. I know that this side 29 is my hypotenuse. And the side for 24, that's the opposite side of our missing angle. So if I have opposite and hypotenuse, that means I'm going to be using the sine. And we say we're going to be using the sine of the angle in degrees is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse which would be 24 over 29. So to find the angle measure we say x is going to equal this inverse. We're going to undo it. The inverse sine negative 1 of 24 divided by 29. And here's where we need some calculator help. So remember, be sure if you're using this cut type of calculator, what you need to press is you need to press the mode button to get to this screen, and you need to make sure that the degree is highlighted. If the radian is highlighted, we'll arrow down and over to degree, hit enter, and that will highlight that part of the calculator. Then to get the sine negative 1 to pop up, you need to hit the blue key, the second key first, and then you'll find the sine key, and it'll pop up as a sine negative 1, and then you can type in your numbers, 24 divided by 29, and we get 55.85, which we can leave it as, we'll go we'll around to that, we'll call this x equals 55.85. Remember that if this number was 5 or higher, we would round that up to 55.86. But in this case, it is not. So we don't need to round it up at all. We'll leave it as 55.85. Now just remember. If you didn't have it in degree mode, you put it in radian mode, this would be your answer. That should be a tell that something's wrong, something's missing. 0.97 would not be a good angle measure, given the side length that we've had. So if you get something goofy like this kind of a decimal, that means that go to your mode, make sure that the degree is highlighted. Let's try number two. This is my angle measure. I have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So, Katoa, so we're using adjacent and hypotenuse. That's the middle one. That stands for cosine. So we're going to say cosine of my angle is going to equal the adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine of x degrees equals the adjacent is 9 over 20. So x is going to equal cosine inverse. So inverse of cosines, cosine negative 1 of 9 divided by 20. I'm going to grab a calculator to help us with this. I don't have a scientific calculator on the iPad that I'm creating the video. So we just have to bear with me with this calculator. So we can type in cosine negative 1, and that is 9 divided by 20. And we get 63.256. That, that third number is bigger than 5, so I'm going to say 63.26. We can say x equals 63.26.
then you can use those calculators you have. Download on your computer, the TI-84. Of course, TI-84s are around in my room. Um, find some scientific calculator that can give you the cos the inverse of all these trig functions. All right, number three, we have the opposite side and the adjacent side, which means we are finding the tangent. So the tangent of x is going to equal, I forgot to write this down. It's opposite over adjacent, so that means 17 over 11. So to find x, we're going to take the tan inverse of 17 over 11. Grab that calculator. Tan inverse. Oh, let's get it first. Tan inverse. 17 divided by 11 equals 57.094, so 57.09. And that is in degrees. I don't know if I've been writing that. Make sure all of your answers have that little degree symbol because that is what our answer is in. It's in degrees. We're finding an angle measure. So our answer should have the degree symbol involved. If at this point you'd like to pause the video, try the next ones on your own, I would highly encourage you to do so. And then come back to the video and I'll show you the answers. So I'm going to breeze through these. So pause the video now, try them on your own, then look back to get the answers. Number four here, you would use tan. So the tangent of x is going to equal 12 over 29 equals the tan inverse of 12 divided by 29. So x is going to equal tan inverse 12 divided by 29. 22. Or eight. Degrees. Let's do number five. Looks like it's going to be tan again. Tan of x equals three over ten. So x equals tan inverse of three divided by ten. Sixteen point six nine nine. We'll round up to sixteen point seven zero degrees. Couple more here. This is, looks like we're going to sine of x equals nine over ten. Sine inverse nine divided by ten. X equals. Sixty-four point one five eight, so we'll go sixty-four point one six. I'm gonna let you finish the last two on your own. Take your best shot. Hopefully, at this point, you've got it down after looking at six examples. Um, once you turn this in, you can get your assignment for the day.